Hi y'all, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. I'm out in the RV working today, well really just this, just this afternoon, but I decided to go ahead and try the peel and stick tile. Regular tile for me is much easier to work with. It, uh, putting up regular tile takes a tremendous amount of time, but it's uh, to me, it's just easier. Now, I've been out here maybe an hour, and I've got the tile up around the bottom part under the stove. And I bought the kind just at Lowe's. There you are, just peel and stick at Lowe's. And the only one I liked, they only had two packs, which was eight sheets. And I think I'm going to have enough, but it's just, I'm, I'm going to have to really work with it. So I've gotten up the two walls. I ended up in the corner just going ahead and swinging it around because what else to do there? Because you've got a little gap in the wall there. And uh, it did have a little uh, filled in strip of plastic, but that was too hard to figure out how to cut it exact around that. So I just took that off. and. Uh, Anyway, it'll do for now. So one of the things I wanted to tell you, though, is that here's what it says. Important. If your gas stove does not have a back panel, which of course mine does not, it's like a cooktop, you must allow a minimum of 14 inches or more uh, of space to avoid exposing the peel and stick to open flames. Now. My two back burners in this RV are not uh, the kind that flames way up. Now, the, the front burner is a bigger burner, but the back two are not. But anyway, it's nine inches I measured it. And over on the other side, it is about 12 and a half inches. So, but I'm not real worried about that because uh, always when I cook, other than when I'm doing a video, I've always got my fan on. And uh, certainly in here, we'll have the fan on, which will take the heat out. But I'm just doing it because I'm tired of fooling with around the backsplash now. Eventually, what I really want to do is get what I call Formica and just just cut two sections to, you know, just glue right up on the wall. You can use, I think, liquid nail and uh, just glue it right up. I mean, if this works, fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too, but it does look good and it really looks real to me. All right, so enough said. Let me show you what it looks like. It's getting kind of sundown here. Can you all see that? I can't really see my screen. There it is. Yeah, see I've got that section to do under there and I've only got this piece and part of two more pieces, but hopefully that'll be enough. Anyway, there's what it looks like from a distance. Sorry, I dropped the little thing. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I've got to finish this little area over here. I've got to cut some T90 little pieces to finish that. But I thought it looked pretty good. It looks a whole lot better than those mirrors that were there. So anyway, we're going to leave it and uh, see how it does. Anyway, so this will be a short video, but I also wanted to show y'all, I'm sorry it's dark in here, to show y'all these things right here. Now this one's still got a little glue on it, but I did use the uh, Goo Gone and uh, got it off the other two panels. So what I'm going to do is use some wood glue and just glue that back right there. And you can see it's still got some staple holes in it, but it's not very noticeable. But anyway, this is right at the door. And so what I'm going to do, I looked at some cork stuff and all that, and I decided to get one of those little square um, or kind of oblong shaped um, little bulletin boards that are the dry wipe, I think you call it. Anyway, you use magic markers, but the one I'm looking at is metal, and we can put our little uh, magnets on there, which is what we use on our refrigerator now, and then just put a couple of uh, things here for it to hang up keys. And then here's this side, 
Yeah, I got all the blue off. It took a long time, but I got it off around the edges. And uh, so I'm gonna glue this one back too. And I think we're just gonna leave them this way. Now the one up front, I already finished that one. And there's what it looks like. I mean, it, you know, other than the little uh, holes where the staples were, you know, I think it looks fine. It's not really noticeable, especially where this one's located. And there's the other one you can see a little bit. I think they look fine. Anyway, the blue material is absolutely gone. I got one of these little paper shades, y'all, to put up at the door, just temporary. It's just kind of stuck on the wall there. But we're going to eventually get it. I couldn't find a shade when I went. That was the only thing they had, and I just said, I'll take it, and we'll change it later. Anyway, so going to glue that down, and glue that top side, and this side, and uh, finish cleaning the glue off of this one. There's not but a little bit of glue still left. And we'll be done with that. And again, there's the uh, backsplash. I mean, it looks good from here. And to me, it does look real. It really does. So uh, anyway, I'm not really worried about the gas uh, flame because, I mean, you know, if you think about it, the burner is right here. And there's quite a bit of distance in the other one right here. And then the middle one is right here in the middle. So I'm not really worried about that. And then you would have the fan on anyway. So so anyway, that's it, y'all. Just a really quick little update. Uh, I'm about tired. It's Friday, and I'm, I'm ready to be really done with this. I do think I can get the other little sections up around, up under this microwave. And hopefully I'll have enough. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, I wanted to show you with the pillows on the bed back here. Um, one person wrote in and said that, you know, if you put the pillows on the, the uh, to try to put the uh, headboard up a little bit. And uh, I do think it's going to be okay. And I was concerned about that. Uh, the lady that wrote in about that was right. I mean, you couldn't stand the pillows up like that it would just completely hide it but what I want to do and some of y'all who have I'm gonna sit down here I'm tired some of y'all who have RVs will know what I'm talking about sorry the sun's going down y'all and I don't want to cut on any lights in here um, the bedspread what I'm gonna do is take the pillow shams sew them together sew them on top of the back of the spread. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So what you do then is pull that part of the spread over the pillows from the back next to the headboard to the front and then you can tuck them under the pillow so they won't I won't be putting pillows and pillow shams and that'll that'll be a lot easier. So anyway a lot of RVs have spreads like that that go on their beds. It's just a matter of sewing the two pillow shams together and then sewing them the opposite way on the head part of the bedspread or the comforter. Anyway y'all that's all I got. We, I have been cooking um, let's see a, a, a really a chuck pot roast and uh, I've had it in the crock pot for any number of hours now so I've got to go in and check on that and and I, I'm not sure I'm going to be working out here tomorrow. What's it taking so long are all these little details. But it's also the little details that make it look good. So you have to take the time to just do it right. And uh, I, I wanted on those uh, cabinets there. Let's walk back in there. On those cabinets, what I wanted to do was uh, I thought using the vinyl would have been great. But the vinyl piece I had, I had a really long piece left, but the vinyl wasn't wide enough, and I certainly didn't want to put a seam in it. And I think someone suggested even using that stripe material for curtains, but I've already got the material for the curtains. And in fact, I've taken one of these uh, curtains down. And uh, so what I'm doing is, uh, I took apart 
three or four of the little um, pleats here and so I could measure and get it exactly right. So anyway, yeah, that's all down now and hopefully I'm going to start on that soon. And once I get rid of that curtain and I'm going to have to cover the little things that hold the curtains back when you're driving down the road, all the blue is gone. At least I think it's gone. I hope I don't find any more blue anymore. If I do, I'm going to be a little upset. All right, so I'm going to go now and see if I can't finish this up real quick, and uh, we'll be done for the day. All right, see you later. Bye for now. Well, I had to come back and show you all this from a distance. There it is. Looks absolutely real, and I had very little left over. This is all I had left, and what I've got to do is cut off pieces and fit them in here in these little sections, which I can do. And also I need to get a, a trim board, a little bitty trim board to go on the end of there and possibly over here too, maybe even on the top there. Anyway, there it is. It was a lot of tedious work is what I would say. And there's definitely a learning curve to this. I can tell you it, uh, you can't peel off too much of it, the backing at one time. But I do think it absolutely looks real, especially from even just a little bit of a distance. Anyway, so much better than it was. All right, for sure, we will see y'all next time. Bye.